Oh, cash-strapped Aussies have found a new way to earn extra money. Well, from competitions to TV game shows, more and more people are trying their luck in the hope of winning big. Clock five. They're exciting to watch and they can be very lucrative to play. Thousands of Australians are signing up for television game shows, hoping to win the big one. Over in Britain, they're getting in on the act too. Applications there have soared 68% in the past year. And it's not just TV. We're also trying our luck with traditional competitions in record numbers. Every week, there are thousands to choose from. And for some, entering has become a full-time job. Professional compers submit 20 to 30 entries a week and can rake in more than $20,000 a year in cash and prizes. So how can you join the winners list? Craig Seaton is from competitionsguide.com.au and joining us from Melbourne. Competition queen Stephanie Hines. Stephanie, good morning to you. Now, you enter 20 to 30 a week. It's still a hobby, but what sort of things have you won? Uh, yeah, it is still a hobby. Um, I have won numerous things, uh, music festival tickets, movie, uh, movie premieres. I won a trip to LA, a trip to Sydney, uh, a trip uh, over to um, America as well. It was just phenomenal. Gosh, well now you've got our interest, given there are so many great things to win. So Craig, you've got some tips for those of us that might want to follow Stephanie. First up, improve your odds by entering multiple times, if it's allowed. Sure. Remember that a harder entry should improve your odds of winning. I'll bring that list up on screen, if I may. Make your entry stand out, mm -hmm. get inside knowledge, and check for winning notices. Tell me about the last one in particular, how that helps. A, a lot of um, promoters these days are asking less and less information because they don't want to upset people. So they'll just ask for your first name and email address, which is really nice. It's very non-intrusive. But when someone wins, if they're not checking their emails, you've got no chance of actually contacting them and you can try up to five, six or seven times and actually come up with no wins at all. So then you have to actually redraw it in about three and a half months time. So people are winning at the moment and not necessarily knowing about it. It's very frustrating. So what are the best uh, um, competitions where the best chances are? Is it sort of on the back of source bottles and in supermarket or is it media ones or what? The, the old fashioned buy something to win has really fallen off since online competitions are more and more becoming predominant. And I guess when I said before uh, being able to actually improve your odds, it, yes, it or twice it doubles your chances rather than once. But the general rule of thumb is that the more effort that's required, and that might be you know, uploading a video or doing all these kind of creative things, people just avoid them like the plague, and there's less and less people that are actually entering them, oh. and that just that narrows down the field. Okay. Well, some give it a go. We were just saying, I feel like I never win anything, but then I never enter anything, so that probably would do that it. That's really good. It. Thank you, Craig. Stephanie, all the best to you. Well done. Keep it up. Thank you. <laughs>